Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Grub Review. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode. Now, a little while back, I had a viewer write in and ask for a follow-up review on the Mountain Hardware Hunker 1 tent. So you guys have asked for it, you guys shall receive it. Here we go. Now to refresh your memory, everyone, this is a freestanding tent, so it does not have to be staked out to be able to set up. That is a huge plus. This is a four season tent, not a three season tent. That is one reason why it is more expensive than other tents out there. Now this tent was made for the Navy SEALs and for sniper teams. This is not a civilian tent. It was built to military specifications. Again, that is why it's more expensive than your average tent. Also, that is why it has some rather unique features, which we will get to in just a moment. Three poles, one very, very long one, and two shorter ones. Setting up this tent is very, very easy. Common sense will take you a long way. Since there are three poles, you realize that the two shorter poles must go on the outside, and the one long center sleeve must be for the long pole. So folks, there you go, pretty simple. That took about three minutes to set up. Now, my experiences with this tent are many. I've used it in the summer, I've used it in the winter, I've used it in heavy rain, thunderstorms, and I've also used it in major winter storms. We'll get to that in just a minute. Overall, my opinion of this tent is that it's fantastic. It's highly unique, but this tent is not for everyone for multiple reasons, and we'll get to that also in just a minute. So it comes with a sleeve for the poles, it comes with the stakes, it comes with a stuff sack. The stakes are all DAC aluminum. The same goes for the poles. Extremely good quality. Very thick poles too. As you can see here, you have the one main entrance with plenty of tie-off points. You can stick this thing out any way you want to. You have a vent right here. Now going back here, you have the rear entrance. Two-way zippers. And those are YKK zippers. This is for the sniper to lay in, to look out of, so you can set this thing up and do what you have to do. So this is one unusual feature. This is the vestibule, which you can stake out towards the ground. You can use sticks and stake it out like a shelf. It's very, very cool. It's really handy in the snow. Also, in the snow, you can just leave this set up and crawl out the back. I like that. Now when it comes to the details for this tent, this is a one to two person tent. I'd recommend one. Otherwise, you are going to be very, very close. It comes in at four pounds, 15 ounces. So it's almost five pounds. The floor dimensions are 91.5 inches by 48 inches wide. The peak is a height of 28.5 inches. Ultimately, you're looking at a floor area of roughly 24 square feet with a vestibule that offers 15 square feet. Here you have a vent. You have another vent on this side. You have some mesh pockets right here. You have a loop up here at the top, so you can string up some lights if you need to. You also have a loop here on the other side. Now here with the door, you can zip that up if you want to, if you need to. You also have some mesh, which you can zip up as well. So you can see here, I'm 5'5", five five and I could, I could sit up in this somewhat. I do have to kind of hunch over, so it's not extremely comfortable. This is a low profile tent. It is made to not be seen. It is made to really hunker down with the winds and the snow. Now, as I mentioned before, it does have some of those unique features such as that shelf, the vestibule, very interesting. This system was made so that multiple tents can connect together. So this vestibule would connect to another tent and the other tent's vestibule would connect to this one. It is a really cool system, but like I mentioned, it's not for everyone. You do have this secondary door in the back here, which is really for sniping and observing. It does not have mesh on it, and that's a huge negative, especially in the warmer months, because you want to have that open to get some airflow. I think it would be very, very easy to mount some sort of mesh on the outside, and I do plan on doing that in the future. Now, when it comes to the price, I'm sure you are interested in that. This runs $489 at the SDKTAC website. That is the 
only place I have seen this tent for sale. From what I understand, they are the only source of this tent. I guess uh, when Mountain Hardware ended production of this tent, that company bought it all out, all the inventory, and they're the only ones that have it. So if you are interested in one, buy it today. These tents will not be around for long. They, they really are special, they're different, but like I said, they, they are not for everyone. This is not for the ultra light backpacker. It is not for the summer hiker because it really is heavy. The materials are really, really thick. The breathability because of that back door not having any mesh is limited. It is a four season tent and it can withstand the snow load. Like I said, I have done that many times. I've taken it out in storms where it's dropped two, three inches. I've taken it out in storms that have dropped over a foot and it handles it with ease. Strong winds, nothing. Thunderstorms, pouring rain, no issues at all, none. For what it does, for what it was meant to do, truly excellent. If you are a fan of tactical gear, you will like this tent. If you're not, this is not for you. Move on. Now, when it comes to the price, it is a little bit high, but it's not outrageous by any means for a four season tent. Oftentimes people hear the price and they don't think about the differences between a three season and a four season tent. They're like, oh my gosh, I would never spend $500 on a tent, that's ridiculous. And if that's the way that you feel, that's fine. But there are people out there who live in certain environments where they have to have a four season tent, like I do. I have to have a four season tent because we get so much snow, the winds are so strong. A three season tent will not survive the winter. That is why four season tents are needed by some people, not everybody. So yes, also this is a specialized product. Like I mentioned, this was not made for the civilian in mind. It was made for the soldier, for the Navy SEAL, for the sniper group. So yeah, the features are tailored towards them, not towards the civilian market. Now I happen to be a fan of tactical gear. You guys know that. And I love this tent. I really do. It is special. It's one of my favorites. It's an item that I will not sell by any means. Speaking of which, I am selling a lot of gear on my website. So head on over there. You'll find a tab at the top that says gear for sale or something like that. Check it out. All sorts of good stuff. Sold tons of it already to you guys for a discount. I appreciate the support. All those funds go back into the channel so we can buy more gear, make more room. That's important. Anyways. So overall, this tent is incredibly solid. It's incredibly sturdy. Handles the rain, the snow, the wind with ease. It's extremely easy to set up and break down, which is very important. When I first received this tent, I was concerned about the top and the way that the poles intersect with their sleeves. It will hold some snow on top. That's a good thing because it does add a level of insulation on top of your tent. Kind of keeps some heat in when you're inside of it. I've had no issues with this tent and snow loading. It's very simple just to pop it and the snow falls right off. Again, no issues at all. I really couldn't be more pleased in that regards. So folks, that wraps up my follow-up review. In my book, it is still a thumbs up. I love this tent. It is not for everybody and I completely understand that. Like I said, it was not developed for everybody. It was developed for a select few. So with that being said, if you like tactical, thumbs up. If you need a good four season tent, thumbs up. Speaking of which, this is actually cheaper than a lot of four season tents by a large margin. So $500 for a really good four season tent, it's a steal. It really is. And you know that if you know anything about four season tents. Now, originally when I showed off this tent, I was a little bit confused about the materials used here. I know that some of it is a ripstop nylon, but I have the impression that some of it is Gore-Tex. Now, I have tried multiple times to reach out to Mountain Hardware to get some information about this tent, and I've been trying for years, and I cannot get a response from them about this tent. I love Mountain Hardware and their gear, but I'm extremely disappointed in their ability to get back with me with some information. I have not approached them as the Outdoor Gear Review. I don't want them to know that I'm a member of the reviewing community. You know, I wanted to approach them as just the average Joe, somebody who has a question. So I changed my name, all that good stuff. And let's see, a couple of times I did get a response back in the past, but they wouldn't tell me anything about this. I tried a couple of weeks ago, sent them a message, and no response at all. Nothing. So yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I am disappointed. 
I'd like to see a company who really stands behind their products and that is willing to answer every single question. That's not too much to ask for. So guys and gals, do you have any questions for me? If so, let me know. Until next time, everyone, take care, strength and honor.